Hi there, it's Saturday the 19th of July 2014 and this is Andy Rowe. Uh, this is trendfollower.co.uk and welcome to my weekly assessment of the markets and the order in which I'm going through these uh, key ETFs is, is actually starting with the, uh, the one that's uh, gone up the most over the past two weeks and we'll descend to the one that's uh, gone up the least or has, has dropped the most um, over the past two weeks. Now I'm using um, ETFs as a proxy for the market itself. So we're starting with a um, view of the bond market using the Vanguard Total Bond ETF uh, which is BND and uh, in my opinion this market uh, is kind of rising gently um, but, uh, but hasn't done loads uh, over the past few weeks, uh, past few months. Um, it has risen up from a low um, towards the uh, uh, summer of last year and uh, I guess it's still gently rising. Um, the, um, the NASDAQ has, uh, has, has risen this week and uh, um, by all accounts I think most people would agree this is still in a, a bull market although uh, um, the candle of this week um, didn't show any massive change but it, it has risen so uh, uh, I think one can say that the NASDAQ is rising. PIMCO um, bonds ETF BOND uh, is uh, is rising, so that's again uh, that's bonds. Uh, DJI, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, this uh, by any uh, way of looking at is a, uh, a rising market, so uh, um, high lows, high highs, um, and shorter um, MA above the longer uh, MA. So that's a rising market. So this is America. Um, same is true for the S and P. Um, so that's uh, that's rising. Uh, gold, however, is in a sort of sideways market. Uh, we can go back to the summer of last year uh, and see a low here and uh, uh, a high, and then another low, uh, a little bit below uh, the one uh, of the summer back at the end of last year, and then another high, not as high as the one um, in the the autumn of uh, of 2013. And so we've got a sort of narrowing range. And so the implication possibly is that gold uh, is going to break up or break down at some stage in the future. Um, who knows which way it's going to go. But at the moment, you know, gold essentially is in a, a sort of sideways range bound move, um, as is the Nikkei indeed. So uh, uh, this hasn't done very much really since uh, the summer of 2013. Um, so no great changes sort of um, yeah, no massive change there. The FTSE 100 um, has uh, has reversed very slightly. Um, it's struggling to to get up through the the highs of uh, of earlier this year and uh, fell away this week. Has has come back up a little bit, uh, failing to break through. Um, and the same is true of the FTSE 350. So this is all the UK. Um, so markets here struggling to uh, to make uh, make make it to to high highs. The DAX uh, again is again by by most accounts this would be a bull market, but uh, um, again in recent weeks it, it has failed to break through previous highs. Um, as has the French market. French market's dropped away. It hasn't dropped down below its average for the year, mind you, but has come pretty close to it. Um, the FTSE 250, um, so there's a mid-sized mid, mid -sized companies. Uh, last week uh, did break down through the uh, average for the year, but this week um, came back up off its, uh, off its low, but has not gone through the average for the year. So um, the high of this market was in February of 2014, so a few months ago now, six months ago, five, six months ago now. Um, so the, the, the MA30 and the MA50 are starting to approximate. Um, and uh, certainly, um, you know, there, there's a succession of, of lower highs. Um, we've, got, we've got two lower lows, but just recently we haven't uh, broken through the the low of uh, of May. So, uh, if this if this drops um, really below that low of May, um, personally, I'd be looking to short short this market. Um, so, um, so that's that's this is a UK mid size. Uh, uh, ETF, uh, mid-sized companies ETF. Oil uh, did look like it was going to do very well uh, as it broke through uh, what appeared to be a, um, a narrowing range but then fell right back down again and uh, again this, this is this is a sideways market with sort of decreasing range so it'll be interesting to see where uh, where oil goes. Property has been doing phenomenally well but uh, in the past few weeks has uh, dropped away and um, but it's still it's still a, an, an upwards 
uh, direction overall um, for property using the TR Property Investment Trust as a proxy for the uh, the whole property market. But uh, yeah, recent weeks not so good for property. Um, it's uh, it's fallen 4.7 percent uh, over the past two weeks. Um, where it'll go next, of course, no one knows. But essentially, it's still in a um, a bull market, but uh, just not good in recent weeks. So uh, so that's my summary of the markets for this week.